I'm with my guy Israel right here, aka Izzy, the middleweight champion for the UFC. Man, it's great to meet you. Man, pleasure, man. Thank Appreciate you so much for stopping by Prestige. Ah, thank you. Yeah, we, uh, you know, we're a big fan of what you do, and it was funny. I had one of uh, my guy Floyd Mayweather's bodyguards here, and he was like, he's like, dude, I said I'm about to interview one of the dopest UFC fighters there is. Right. He's like, oh, that's cool. He kind of acted like, oh, that's cool. And, I, and he's like, have you seen that Nigerian dude, that crazy dude with the dance? Oh, yeah. I'm like, that's a dude coming through right now. <laughs> that's that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. my so, man. man. Congrats on all your success. <laughs> thank you, sir. I appreciate no, it, man. It's crazy. And so, what, yeah. what motivated you to become a champion uh not really a champion a fighter like the, the, the goal wasn't always to be a champion like i keep saying fuck the belt like yeah. i just like challenges yes sir i like rising up to the occasion and if you haven't watched my last fight that fifth round i mean after fighting for 20 minutes that fifth round i look better than the first round you know i gassed i thought i found the limit and i found the next limit so now I, not a lot of people get to see that in their life and know what they're made of so for me i'm grateful for that moment and moments like that is what motivates me to do what i do What's your ultimate goal? Just for me, in fighting, be the best. I said, fuck the belts. I don't really care about all that. I'm stacking paper, but just to fight the best of my era. So when it's all said and done, they can be like, who's the guy that fought everybody and didn't run, didn't duck no one, nothing like that. And I'm like, yo, I want to be in that conversation. I want to be the guy like, yo, that guy Styles, he got it done crazy yeah, that that fifth round i did see it and it was just like you dug so deep and then it, and then hearing what you had to say like you taught yourself yeah. something about yourself I tomorrow I, I looked at him and he was looking he's got a game face as well he's mexicano so you know they're tough man they're tough as hell so i was like you're not gonna kill me i'm prepared to die and i meant that and for me saying that out loud to myself i gave my life already and i meant that so if i was willing to die i'm willing to kill so if he had died as well it would have sucked, but I would have been okay with it because I was ready. I was ready to give it up. So that's some scary shit when you have to tap into that mindset. Like this is it. It's done. And once I once I was ready to die, I lived. And I, yeah, man, I found that next level, and I was able to just wash him, dust him, drop him like four times in the fifth round. A guy who's never been dropped, you know. And uh, yeah. Hey, it's work, baby. It's all here, right? Exactly. Man. And you so, believed it, and then you made it come true. And you hear that all the time, like as a cliche, but you actually lived it. That's right. Like, you, I'm able to, <laughs> since day one, even the next fight, I got signed in February last year. I don't know anyone else, maybe Anderson Silva, who's risen to the top this fast in the UFC in just over a year and become champion. And I said before I got signed, when they were interviewed, I was like, 2019 I'm gonna fight Robert Whitaker for the middleweight champion of the world if he's still champion and luckily because he ain't fought since even before I f <laughs> he's been pulling out you know pull out came strong <laughs> yeah he's been pulling out so he hasn't fought since before I got in the UFC so he's still champ and like I said everything I've done six fights in just over a year not many if any Man, well, I'm a huge fan. I just, uh, I, I really, uh, we, we're the car dealerships. Yeah, the cars are rolling through. We just sold that one. Uh, and, and I just, uh, I just admire what you've accomplished in such a short time. You came in and made such a name for yourself. And man, it's just, it, it gives me the just chills. Getting started, man. That's the thing. It's only a year. And like, I, I, my last fight was April, and I've just kind of chilled since then. Started training about a month and a half ago. Nothing crazy. Just having fun, light work. So, you can't like a car. You can't put your foot on the gas the whole time. Sometimes, if you're gonna blow the engine. So I did that for 18 months, and after that, I was like, I take the foot off the pedal, hit the brakes, park it up. I've been enjoying myself. Went back to Nigeria, went to Dubai, seen some crazy shit. And yeah, I've been enjoying life. So now I'm refreshed, remotivated, inspired by going back home. So. Man, I'm, get, I'm I'm ready to get this work. It's super smart because you can you can operate that high level and you can kill yourself and do and go crazy, but at yeah. the same time you have to recharge those batteries so you can win. Exactly, it's a balance. You got to know when to hold them, <laughs> know when to fall hey. them. Exactly, man. <laughs> so what? So what's the dance, baby? What do you do yeah. when you win? <laughs> Whatever the energy gives me, you know, the, it's all in the vibe. I, when I was in New York, I hit the, you know, that guada guada when I was in, uh, you know, that's that South African thing. Also, I got some shaku shaku in me from Nigeria. <laughs> Depends. Whatever the vibe is, whatever the, the ancestors tell me, I just let it flow. What's that feeling like when the crowd gives back? For me, that, like, for, I come from a dance background. That, even if it's booze, like, it's still energy. I take that. If I go to, like, if I was trying to fight him in Sydney because that's where he's from, but they have the NRL finals that, 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 that day, so... I was trying to fight him in his backyard so he could be like, boo, and I still take that <laughs> yeah, and I use yeah, it. Yeah. It's all energy, baby. So, yeah, I like that feeling. I like I like that, that, that exchange of give and take. 
I, I, I can totally relate to that. So for me, we're been number one in the world in, 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 our, in our business. And, I and you guys. thank you, thank Definitely you. Definitely all the countdowns. My man, my man. Yes, so, man. So for me, it's like when the haters come out, yeah. I don't know. Sometimes they don't realize they shouldn't do that because that wakes me up. I was oh. over here. I'm with Mayweather well, on a jet say, somewhere. He said, you know, I need you. <laughs> yep. I need you to hate so I can yeah. use you for my yeah, energy. Yeah, they get me going. Yeah, then it's I like, I, I wouldn't be number one. We just came in number one again six hey, years in a row at this one. store. Another one. <laughs> another one, baby. <laughs> and we wouldn't have came in number one if our competitors didn't hate. But they woke me up. I'm like, okay. Let them get salty. It's all salt, bae. I'm just trying to be like you, champ. Appreciate Good, you. Appreciate Thank you so man. much for coming through. We, we appreciate ass. you blessing us Which with your presence. Know, hey, you're going to bless me with a whip for the week. You know what it is. Up, you know man. what it is. Riding prestige style, exactly, baby. Exactly. Prestige Chrysler Jeep Dodge with the champ. Check him out. What's the IG? IG Stylebender. At me. At Stylebender on, twist, on Twitter, Instagram. Hey, don't slide in DMs, though. <laughs> <laughs> with the, what's up with the puppy? Puppy. Hey, she good, man. She at home chilling. My guy. My guy. Hey, you know what the puppy said. <laughs> <laughs>